Well, hello everybody. My name is Brett Hall, and today we're going to talk about how to use the bulk administration tool to create Jabber soft phones. Over the past few months or so, I've received this question, whether we can and how to do so. And uh, rather than continue to explain to various individuals how to do it and um, that kind of thing, I, th I figured it, maybe it makes sense to create a video and uh, share this information out to the rest of the community. A couple of the reasons, other reasons why is uh, if you're familiar with the bulk administration tool, uh, perhaps you know that uh, the documentation that Cisco has on it is not that great. So perhaps you've tried and run into issues and today I'm going to help kind of try to simplify how to do it at least from a Jabber perspective today. Some, uh, some background information about uh, my environment is currently I'm running Communications Manager 12.5. If you're not running 12.5 then it's probably not a big deal because the bulk administration tool has not changed a lot over the past few years. Uh, I'm also running LDAP synchronization, meaning I have an Active Directory, I've imported users in from that Active Directory, and I've enabled LDAP authentication for uh, my users. Again, if, if you don't have that in place, uh, certainly you can create user accounts individually within Communications Manager, or you could also try using bulk administration tool to import a large amount of users in. I'm just not going to be able to cover that in today's time frame. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And uh, the first part of actually importing a large amount of Jabber soft phones into Communications Manager is to pre-configure Jabber phones according to the different types of users you have across your organization. In uh, my organization, in my demo, you can see I have two. I have a, a soft phone associated with my profile. And then I also have a Jabber soft phone associated with Chuck Robbins. And those are two different types of accounts. Uh, Chuck's going to have more administrative access, different call and search spaces and things of that nature. I'm going to have more of the basic privileges. So now that we have you know, functional Jabber soft phones, the first step in using a bulk administration tool is to export the configurations of those different soft phones. And to do that, you go to bulk administration and phones and export phones and all details. And from here, we can um, focus in on the unified client service framework, which of course is, is your Jabber soft phones. And we'll give it a meaningful name, which is um, Jabber Export, and then today's date. And we're going to tell the bulk admin tool to run this job immediately. So um, within the bulk administration tool, it's always a best practice to go into job scheduler and to look at the status of your job. Certainly to figure out whether a job is completed or not, but but also to determine whether the job that you've originated was a success or whether there are errors associated with your job. We can see in this case the export was a success and so we're, we're free to go into bulk administration tool and upload and download files. So uh, I'm going to download this file uh, which you can see here is a text file and the first thing we're going to do here is change this text file uh, from a .txt to a CSV. CSV is what uh, Communication Manager likes from an import perspective, but it also helps us to uh, be able to work with the file because we can use Microsoft Excel to copy and paste various parameters in. So today, in our, in our demo, I'm going to create two different soft phones. I'm going to create uh, one soft phone for a user named uh, Nick Smith, if I can type it correctly. And I'm going to create another user for, another soft phone for a user called A. McKenzie. 
And it's always good to start off small because as you create your template, it's, uh, it's, it just saves a lot of time before you run into errors. So starting small can help eliminate some of those frustrations that you have before you're spending hours copying and pasting various parameters into this uh, CSV file. So at first it's a little bit of hand jamming, but um, from here we can copy and paste. And again, already you see the various uh, types of differences in my Jabber users. Uh, for my profile, for my soft phone, I'm part of the phone CSS, but for Chuck, he's part of management. So for the sake of this uh, demo, we're just going to use the parameters that are associated with my profile, which is probably in, in more you know more in line with uh, traditional organizations, since uh, there's more workers than there are managers or executives for that matter. Um, in this next field, which is um, the user ID field. This is why I talked about having LDAP synchronization already in place, uh, because you need to have a user to associate with your Jabber soft phone. So I already know Nick's user, and I already know Adam's user. If you, uh, if you didn't have users, again, you would, um, you could still continue the process, but you just wouldn't be able to import the Jab or soft phone file successfully without errors because um, you know there would be no user to associate. So bat would fail on this column AL. Another thing I'll point out is um, the device security profile. Again, uh, for my particular user, I have an encrypted profile configured and working. But if you're onboarding these devices for the first time, it probably makes sense to go ahead and choose a non-secure profile. From, that, from there, at that point, you can push certificates out, but at least you can get them up and working as fast as possible with a non-secure profile. Certainly, there are other ways to push certificates out uh, through uh, group policy or some other uh, tool. But uh, I don't have that in this environment, so can't really talk of that much more intelligently. So continuing to pasting some more information, just bear with me for a few more moments. We'll, um, we'll be ready to go. A lot of these parameters that I'm pasting in here, they may not be completely necessary, but uh, we're just following the, uh, the model we've, we've exported because we know that these fields uh, are work and are supported. So the next thing that's unique about uh, these soft phones is the lines. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give these new soft phones an extension that starts with 10. So for Nick, 10, 1001, and for Adam, 10, 1002. And I'm going to go ahead and give them a line in the internal partition. You can see here we're configuring the management, calling search space for calls that need to be forwarded. In theory, Chuck's number always gets picked up on the first call, or the first ring, I should say. So, no need for Chuck to have any kind of call forwarding. And uh, now, you know, we're at the unique field for your individual organization. So, um, I've associated the phone number, now I'm associating a label for the phone. And now I'm configuring a description for the line. And I'm just going to put the user's name 
in this field. which will also serve as caller ID for uh, inbound calls. Okay, and uh, that's really all we need for creating new um, Jabber phones. The rest of the information in these fields is all re related to intercluster lookup service, which I have in my environment, uh, which is good for name dialing, but if you're not peered up with other clusters, then you don't necessarily need name dialing in place. So now I'm going to delete my existing users. I don't need them. If I try to import Existing device names in the Communications Manager is just going to error out anyways. So uh, we don't need that. Um, I'm just going to do a quick little double check here to make sure everything is the same and unique where it needs to be unique. Make sure I didn't fat finger something. And it looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file. And uh, I have a, file, a folder on my desktop uh, called Bat Demo. I'm going to put it in. And I'm also going to give it a, a unique, meaningful name. With today's date. So now we can go back to Bat and upload this file so we can add the phones back in to Communications Manager. Or I should say, add these new phones into Communications Manager for the first time. It's important to make sure you select the right target here because if you do not, you'll go to add the phones and uh, you won't be able to find the file that you just uploaded into BAT. So, I selected phones and then insert phones, all details, which uh, in a second here you'll see the significance of those targets and the transactions. So now that we've uploaded the file successfully, we can go into phones and insert phones. And we want to make sure we select the radio button with insert phones, all details. So you see the file name I just uploaded into BAT. We're going to go ahead and run this job immediately. And so while we're doing that, again, uh, we're going to leverage the job scheduler. Uh, again, not only to see when the job is completed, but also to make sure that uh, it was successful. And, uh, and this is also a place where you could use to troubleshoot because um, you'll see bat jobs actually completed, but if you don't go into the individual job IDs, you'll never know whether the job was a success or whether there were errors associated with the job. And uh, as you go into some of those errors by clicking on the log files, they're very helpful in troubleshooting you know, any kind of failures you might actually run into within bat. So just real quickly, I'm going to show you how to do that. Again, you could see that this job result was a success, which is good. But um, this is the log file that you would click into to troubleshoot any kind of errors. And uh, as you can see here, uh, there are no errors found with the job I just ran. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to go now into device and phone and just verify that those Jabber phones were added successfully, which they were, which is good. So, uh, so again, in theory, uh, because I have LDAP synchronization and LDAP authentication already configured, I can now open up Jabber and log in as one of the with one of the user accounts 
that already existed. So the username is A McKenzie, and my domain is ciscopucks.com. It's going to use um, DNS and service discovery to find my communications manager cluster, which it has. And so now I'm going to put the password in there. So I can authenticate into Active Directory. And uh, as, you, as you can see, it was successful. Successful. Uh, so hopefully that kind of demystifies a little bit how to use BAT for adding Jabber soft phones and how to add a large amount of Jabber soft phones very quickly. Certainly there's an element of copying and pasting and, uh, and typing information into the CSV file. But uh, as you can see, the process is pretty straightforward. Get some working Jabber phones, export the phones, manipulate the file using Excel in a CSV format, and then simply just bring the CSV file back into Communications Manager through BAT. That's all I have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit like, and feel free to hit subscribe for future videos. If you uh, have any feedback, such as what you'd like to see in a future session, feel free to uh, drop me a comment in the comment section. And uh, good luck adding uh, all your phones uh, through the bulk administration tool in the future. Appreciate it and have a great day.